It was just over 10 years ago that the Gordon and Franklin Rivers in the southwest of Tasmania were the focus of the country's biggest ever environmental battle. It was the Greenies versus the power workers, the state government versus federal, a fight that culminated in the Franklin River blockade. Of course, the rest is history, and this region is now an integral part of Tasmania's World Heritage Area. Like Dixie K Hall and Oliver Sandri, more and more tourists are coming here to find out for themselves what all the fuss was about. So Dixie, what do you think? Spectacular. Just fantastic. Fantastic, yeah. <laughs> And what a way to do it, by seaplane, from the township of Strawn to the lower reaches of the Gordon River. The view from the seaplane gives us a good idea of just how spectacular this part of Tasmania really is. But the next part of our journey offers the complete picture. From here we literally step across and board the SS James Goodwin, a tiny steamship that will take us even further into the wilderness. It would have to be one of the most beautiful rivers in the country, if not in the world. Unlike the nearby King River, which is practically dead from heavy metal pollution, the Gordon has remained largely untouched. Well, I've travelled a little bit and I think it's just exquisite. The best, just the best scenery. It's just so beautiful. I just love it. But I am biased. I am Tasmanian. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just love this part of the world. It's just beautiful. If you've got any sort of affection for boats, then you'll love this one. The steamship looks a little like it might have come straight from Toy Town. It has a fuel consumption of 13 kilometres to the wheelbarrow of wood, and it's very much the real thing. This is live steam. It's a brand new boat. It was only built last year, down in Hobart. And everything on it's brand new, and it's all locally built in Tasmania, apart from the engine which is a 1918 vintage US Navy N-Series compound engine brought from the States out of a museum and put back into service. The air and steam trip is part of the one operation and costs $98 for the two and a half hour journey. And unlike other cruises on the river, you don't have to share the experience with hordes of other people. This boat takes a maximum of only five passengers. And how do people react coming on and, and spending the day on this? They just love it. The biggest complaint is they don't want to get off. <laughs> it's, um, I think that a lot of people sort of don't realise that, that steam is nice, it's unique, it's clean, it's quiet. So we can travel slowly, enjoy the river and, and the area for what it is. And, um, it's just a nice, relaxing way to spend some time. That time, however, could be limited. The Tasmanian government is planning legal action over the licence needed to operate here, and the SS James Goodwin could well be forced off the river.